fit. It fits. So we're down here at uh, Uncle Bowser's workshop at Brushworks, and we're going to rip out our old two and a half inch system. And as you can see, she's uh, she's had better days. It's a high flow exhaust now, Barry. It's a shit flow exhaust. <laughs> Jesus. So rip that out. We have a new exhaust system to go into it. And uh, it won't sound like a wet fart anymore. Well, it's still going to sound like a bit wet fart to these seats. Yeah. What do you mean? What? 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 Well, <laughs> luckily, what? luckily that didn't fall off at the track day. What we got here, Shorto? Um, we got a, we got a, a new exhaust. New so exhaust. we have a twin three and a half. Three, sorry, twin three inch system for a uh, VT to VZ because I don't make one for a Monaro with the uh, the Varex muffler. So uh, we're going to modify it a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But it's definitely going to be a lot better than what's in there at the moment. And we'll be able to quieten it down too. So being a three inch will be louder, but hopefully with that, it'll be a bit quieter. Oh, we'll, we'll use the uh, ECU to play with that, won't we, Shauno? Um, well, hopefully. That's why you bought a fancy ECU, wasn't it? Yeah. So you could play with shit. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, a bit bigger than what's in there now. Yeah. You want to do a, t a, test, a test note? Mm. That's what a V6 sounds like, is, doesn't it? Sounds like shit. See, they're already laughing at you. Well, Varrets. Yeah, so you got one straight pipe and one kinky pot. Yep, twin, twin little throttle bodies. Shiny. Okay. It's a bit shinier than the, the front half of it. Oh. Alright. Let's get the old one out, put the new one in. It's a lot easier standing up under a car. It's a lot easier just looking at everything and going, you just get a different view instead of being, you know, you can't see anything. What's the fuck? Uh, what can I leave that on? Alright, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'll give you a hand. It's always entertaining watching someone else lose skin. Oh, those clips. Oh, someone lost their clip. That's clip, right. sorry. Mm. I'll take that, you do that. It's all upside down. I am so retarded. <laughs> oh, clips are still up there. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Alright, so. Test fit number one. Kind of like bolts up straight away, oh, even though it's fuck. a bit different. <laughs> oh, did you find? Did you find the wheel? <laughs> Hoist life. So it's gonna work. It's a bit erect at the back, a bit JDM style. Uh, I know. I'm <laughs> but we've got some uh, modifications to do with the hangers, but we're gonna make it fit. We'll make it fit. Yeah. We'll a little tight there. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax but and let it slide. That's not gonna. Oh, that's gonna melt though eventually. But we can try to like. <laughs> that's gonna be a bit tight. <laughs> oh yeah, the Huck Tour plates. <laughs> All right, so we've cleared that. That makes no issues anymore, but now it's actually this bit of material up here is hitting the barracks mufflers, uh, sorry, the motors. So we're going to cut that section out. These hangers are going to be made redundant with this because we're going to have to put a hanger actually at this end. So we're going to basically cut, cut that out, nibble it out, 
probably bash that that way a little bit. So they'll still be up there for future use if I ever need to use them, but we'll bash them out. But the back corner needs to be chipped out so it fits the motors. And then we're gonna bolt a bracket up there, one of those holes, and should be nice and easy, Shawno. Easy. So now you just gotta basically chop that little area out yeah. at the back here and we should have enough room. Should do. We got there, Shawna. Uh, what is it? Worth. Is it uh, worth the money? Worth the effort? Oh god. FYI, I made that joke, Sean just copied it for video. Because I say it better. <laughs> nice cut. Sean, I see you got your Rocky Nat shirt on. I do. Rocky Nat 04. Rocky Nat 04. Soon to be 05 because we are now. On our way to Rocky Nats for 2025. Well, yeah. Mm, well, <laughs> the aim is to be <laughs> this to be actually done, done, and your car to be done, done. Yeah, on on our, on our way. Meeting you you with might your be tickets. <laughs> you might be the person up midnight just before and next year if you do your motor. Oh, that's Bazzy's job. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're in this shed that's soundproofed and so you can just do 24-7 shifts. Mm -hmm. So, but yes, we're going to Rocky Nats 04, 05, yeah, 05. East, uh, week before Easter next year, because they moved it. Two weeks before Easter. Two weeks before Easter. So it's the start of school holidays rather than the middle, end. I think, or end. No, end. Yeah, Easter's at the end. Yeah, it's the start of school holidays. First week. Easter's really late next year. Yeah. Cool. All right. Got that off. Let's put it back up and we'll see what we need to do to make a hanger at the other end. Go, Bazzy. <laughs> Your poor little uh, wood bench is uh, taking a bit of a, a hit. Got an old wood bench, mate. Now we're just going to weld in some brackets and hopefully we'll be all right. That's an old welder there, Barry. Yeah, mate. She's a good old beastie, that one. She from, uh, is she from the Titanic? No, mate, if you get on the Titanic, it wouldn't have fucking sunk. <laughs> Galv! Gotta love welding, Galv! They're all dying of cancer tonight! <laughs> Still needs more fucking amenities. God! Design on demand, it always takes a lot longer. I'm re. We're gonna re sync that logo? Because yeah. design on demand is. Yeah. Uh, it's time consuming. <laughs> Bolt up or fuck off. That's the new logo. <laughs> <laughs> I squint. I squint hard with that one. <laughs> all right. All right. So we fit all in there. We'll take it down. We'll weld on the bench. Our JDM spec exhaust is sitting out, which we'll fix up later. But it's all hanging up there, up there. What do you think, Sean? I think that was a, a lot of work for an exhaust system, <laughs> and we're not finished yet. And the funny, the funny thing is, the video was only like five minutes. <laughs> mm. Real life needs to be five minutes long. If we could do this, yeah. What do you 
scraping your exhaust off. See where I've put that rubber block? Yeah. If we could attach that up into there, mm. that now you get no bouncy bouncy. It's too long. So Unky Baz has put in a bump stop for you. <laughs> bump so stop or a bump stop? <laughs> <laughs> bump stop. <laughs> mm, this time of the day. <laughs> and we just finished wiring in the uh, the barracks wiring. Mm. So we'll get down and start her up and see what it sounds like. The Bathy Special deburring tool. The um, looks all right. Custom exhaust. All right, Shawno, sure are we gonna put the uh, put it in for the last time? Well, hopefully. Well, we'll see what a fresh exhaust sounds like on this. But these things are shut at the moment until I can power on the. Uh, Need more battery. <laughs> so, three inch. It's currently closed, but it already sounds louder than the old two and a half. So, once I finish wiring it up, once we wire, wire up the valves, we can open them. They'll sound a lot louder. But we've also figured out the 044s were not the uh, fuel issue. The fuel issue is the lift pump inside the actual tank. We had no fuel on our surge. So, we're going to drop the, uh, the fuel tank and have a look in there next episode. Catch ya!